my name's Regan, I'm 20 years old and I'm a full-time carver at the moment. Hey, I'm Jamal, I'm a um, Year 13 art student, full-time, just trying to get my work out here. For everyone to appreciate arts for everybody here. Well, um, we use the Taitokere colours red, black and white to um, represent the traditional side and the pop art sequencing for modern times. So we're representing where traditional people living in the modern era. Very cool. And any stories about the community? Have they embraced your project? Yeah, they've been awesome. Yeah. They've been here every single day with us. Helping. Yeah, we have like <laughs> like 10 kids out 10 here kids, watching yeah, yeah. like five hours straight. That's awesome. My inspiration for this uh, mural is um, summer and um, just relaxed um, holidays. Inspiration was actually from a photo of a friend of mine, so um, that's it really. So I had um, lots of people tooting at me and waving and um, a couple of people coming up and saying they loved it, which was really lovely and encouraging. Um, I also had a man come up and ask me, did I have permission to do this? Um, and a lovely lady and her daughter came down and offered me some biscuits, so all on all pretty good. Um, it's based around people, yeah. As individuals we make um, choices every day and whatever choice we make um, has an impact on ourselves, on the community, on the country and on the planet. I think I know the whole street now, yeah, by name. <laughs> right. And they've, they've been watching me paint, you know, as um, I've been progressing. Just the whole overall experience has been great, yeah. Well, I live in Nunguru and I travel every day by car through a lovely landscape with lots of stone walls and uh, um, that inspired me really. As you can hear, there's lots of traffic here and there was always someone tooting or waving. Uh, I've been uh, given boxes with chocolates and photo people stop to come to take photos and that's been wonderful, yeah. I only had the idea um, the night before it was due and then I thought just adding the water and diving. I had, had a lot of um, little kids like after school in it and they're like, oh, yeah, it looks, looks way better than it was before. And even had this young fella yesterday and he's like, I oh, was um, telling me he likes art and he was like, wow, oh, that's the best day, get paid for what you d like to do. And he was only a young fella, like 10. I've got a woman driving a tractor and as you can see she's wearing a stiletto and that's basically because I think women are amazing, you know, I think we're an incredibly powerful, you know, gender and we've got the ability to do anything we want to do. So that's pretty much the, the motivation behind this. It's just been fantastic. I mean, I've had people every day look after me, bring me drinks, bring me food, give me kina, buy me chocolates, tooting, you know, giving me thumbs up, yelling out stuff about how wonderful it is. And, you know, from all ages, from the little kids going past to, to, the, el to the elderly and just everyone. I painted a, like a canvas picture, so I wanted to just try doing something on a canvas. Yeah, lots of people have tooted and waved and given a thumbs up and stopped and yeah. The place where I come from is where Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci spent the last four years of his life and um, he left a big imprint in the, our area because he died there. Um, so, and the Mona Lisa obviously is like the most famous painting in the world, so I thought it was quite a, an easy one to recognize from anywhere in the world. Um, and some kids were really, really lovely, like, oh, are we, are we, you need to, you really need to focus hard, are we, do you want us to stop talking with you? Because it's really hard, what are you doing? They were so cute. Um, we decided to do a Tanifa, and the background's blue to represent Northland. Heaps of people have liked watching us do this, and yeah. I just wanted to do something that was a sort of bit quirky about this town, and uh, one of the things I found was that Bream Bay was actually misnamed by Captain Cook. Yeah, a continuous tooting, people coming past, uh, lots of people yelling out, and uh, even people asking for directions to ask where the warehouse is. 
The name of Whangarei means the gathering place of chiefs. And so you see the huia feathers in their heads there. And um, they, they're the feathers that the chiefs would wear back in the Māori days, back, you know, a while back. <laughs> and, um, and the people's heads are the people of Whangarei. And uh, I did the piece to sort of project a message that's saying that um, this is a place where greatness can thrive and live.